right, are you figuring out where you are going to live? And this is really confusing because DC has so many different neighborhoods. There are so many options here. Do you want a walkable city life? Do you want peaceful, leafy suburbs? Or how about something in between the two? All right, we can figure this out for you. I am Melissa Terzis, DC Real Estate Mama. This is my channel. What should you do if you want to, I don't know which side it's gonna go, subscribe, right? And we'll put my contact info down here too, yeah. in case you need to, oh my God, <laughs> get it off me. This is Leah. She's just hanging with me for the video. I know. All right, so how are we gonna find your perfect neighborhood? I will tell you what I've been doing with other clients that has worked really, really well. So let's pretend you're moving here. All right, so first I would need to find out more about you. I wanna know what your lifestyle is like now. What would you like to change about how you live now? I've had people from New York City come here and then say they don't wanna live in a loud, bustling city anymore. I've had people that roll the window down and if they can hear any traffic, they're like, nope, we're out. We want it to be completely quiet 24 hours a day. I've also had people from New York come and say that they are afraid DC isn't gonna be city enough for them, which I could also understand. So second, I am going to ask you about your job and what your tolerance level is for commuting if you're going to have to commute. Do you prefer to drive? Do you, prefer, do you, prefer, to do you prefer to take public transportation? Or do you, do you like to walk? Or do you like to walk? Third, how much space do you need? Will a one bedroom condo work for you or do you need a five bedroom house? Finally, our school is important. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. We because need... she needs to break this down. I okay. touched my foot before I did that. That's disgusting. All right, so if you're a city dweller and you want to remain a city dweller in condos and high rises and leaving your car parked for weeks and doing everything on foot or not even having a car, sounds like a dream. I'm gonna direct you to a few areas. The most city-like feeling can be found in the neighborhood sort of south of Florida Avenue, which is the old downtown city. Sometimes Florida turns into U Street. That confuses people a little bit. Anyway, we're talking about DuPont Circle, um, Capitol Hill. And DuPont and Capitol Hill are actually quieter than some other neighborhoods like Chinatown, which is very busy, very bustling, um, and has very much of a city feel. Other neighborhoods for people who love city feelings are Logan Circle, no Noma. Noma, which is north of Mass. Navy Yard and the Wharf. Navy Yard and the Wharf. Okay, let's say D.C. isn't your thing and you can get a really good city vibe in Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, also over the river from DC in Virginia in Roslyn, same thing, very good city vibe. Along the Roslyn corridor, it's Roslyn, Courthouse, Clarendon, Boston. Those neighborhoods are highly dense. They've got a lot of retail, a lot of restaurants and things that you can walk to. What if you tell me you're not a, a city dweller? You want a driveway or you at least want to be able to park in front of your house. All right, so this is where things get more confusing because we have everything here from townhomes who that are in neighborhoods that are a little bit more densely populated and you can walk to things and drive to other things. And then there are houses on a half acre with walk scores of one, which just have, you know, that driveway cul-de-sac kind of thing, but that's it. You can't, nothing is walkable. So do you like the townhome idea so that you don't have to maintain a yard but you don't want anybody living above you. Well, you can find that mostly anywhere in the area from DC to Maryland and Virginia. In DC, we call them row homes and they usually don't carry a homeowner's association fee since many of these row homes were built before HOAs were actually a thing. Uh, the row homes that are close to downtown are always gonna be on smaller lots, usually don't have yards and often without driveways or dedicated parking, you'd have to do street parking. So think, Georgetown, DuPont Circle, Logan Circle, Glover Park, Shaw, Woodley Park, Cleveland Park. This is where you're gonna find the townhomes on smaller lots, and depending on where, you may get a driveway, you may not. In Mount Pleasant, you'll find a combination of both large homes with parking and those without parking, but lots of nice outdoor space and rentable downstairs units in the lower level. As you get further north in DC, the row homes can have pretty deep lots and include parking and a nice size yard. Neighborhoods like Petworth and Brightwood are where you're gonna see these homes. There's also single family homes in many neighborhoods like Crestwood, 16th Street Heights, Brooklyn, Trevi Chase, and AU Park, which is American University Park. You will know that you're in the city, but you're not gonna feel like it. Some of these houses, believe it or not, even have pools. Wouldn't you love to have a pool, Leah? Yeah. I would too. I would also like to have a raccoon, a piggy, more dogs. 
something else, something else, something else, something else, something else, something else, something else. Okay, I'm down with all of that. Let's just get all the animals and shove them in our house. Yay! What about an elephant and a giraffe? I don't know. All right. In Maryland and Virginia, the row home is called a townhouse, and it usually is governed by a homeowner's association. As land has gotten more expensive, you see more townhouse homes with narrow footprints, which means there's lots of stairs, and they're very narrow, and they go up for many, many flights, usually four flights. Uh, depending on your desire for a more urban feel over true suburbs, there are actually lots of choices. Old Town Alexandria has its own personality entirely. It's got a very historic feel with waterfront access. Del Rey in Alexandria is a hip happening neighborhood popular with young professionals and families. Arlington's kind of a mixed bag. North Arlington is mostly single family homes of varying sizes. The lowest and most southern part of North Arlington though is very dense with single family homes, row homes, and condos. And that's what I talked about was the Roslyn Courthouse Clarendon, Boston corridor. All right, so this is a very high flying overview of how to start figuring out areas. The good news is that you get to make some choices first. And I realize that you won't know what some of the answers are until you see some of these places in person, which is what I do. I can craft a tour for you and kind of send you on your own little jaunt if you like, and or you can describe your ideal situation and I'll provide you with suggestions of neighborhoods that we take a look at when you are here in town. So many of the areas that I've mentioned have, uh, I have in-depth videos on as well, but please reach out to me if you can't find them and I will uh, send you links to those videos and let you know what else I have done so that we get a better neighborhood profile. So I am Melissa Terzis. This is Oinky McOinkerson covering her nose and my contact info is coming next. I'm Leanna Oinky McOinkerson. <laughs>